Welcome to another powerful show of prophetic revelation and insight. Straight Talk with Wayne, your daily source of prophetic revelation, prayer, and the Christian news that you need. As part of the secondadam.com, Pastor Wayne invites you to listen, enjoy, and share these anointed messages of hope and glory. Amen. Pastor Wayne here. We're going to talk today about how to listen to God. How to listen to God. Those who follow me, you know, I've, I've got a resource, two ways to hear God's voice, active listening, passive listening. We may touch on that some today in this as well. But I really want to talk about hearing God through spending time in His Word. Now, you've heard it all before, right? I know that, Pastor Wayne. But are we doing it? Are we doing it? Are we really walking in that? Isaiah. So let's go into the book of Isaiah. Isaiah 50, 4 through 5. We're going to talk about reading the Word. Let's read the Word. It says, The Lord God has given me the tongue of disciples, that I may know how to sustain the weary one with a word. Wow. He awakens me morning by morning. He awakens my ear to listen as a disciple. The Lord God has opened my ear, and I was not disobedient, nor did I turn back. You know, guys... This is probably one of the messages have speak to me the most lately because I know my calling. I'm going to talk about Wayne for a minute. You're listening to the podcast. You need to know who you're following, correct? God has called me, comfort my people, comfort my people, he told me, Isaiah 40 and 1. He said, tell my people what they can do for the world is telling them what they cannot. But I love this. He says, the Lord here, this would be, a verse that you should, these two verses, grab a hold of it. Grab a hold of it. The Lord God, the Lord Jehovah, hallelujah, has given me the tongue of disciples. He's given me the words, hallelujah. He's given me an anointing that I may know how to sustain the weary one with a word. People come to me to say, Wayne, I need coaching. I need counseling. Wayne, I need a, I need a word from the Lord. Lord. Wayne, I need, I need, I need. We all need. That's, but He gives that to us in His Word, His Logos, the written Word. He gives it to us in the rhema, of the prophetic utterances. But it says here, The Lord God has given me the tongue of the disciples that I may know how to sustain the weary one with a word. He awakens me morning by morning. It means every day that you're awakened, He awakens my ear to hear as a disciple. The Lord God has opened my ear. And I love this next part because this is our responsibility. See, we go back and four, it's his doing. The Lord God has given. He gave me the tongue of disciples. He awakens me morning by morning. He awakens my ear to listen. He, and then verse five, the Lord has opened my ear. All that God has done, but then he goes into what we must do. And I was not disobedient, nor did I turn back. Nor did I turn back. Such an anointing on that. Such an anointing on that. Amen. I'm, t- I'm preaching this Sunday. If you're in the area, come visit. But I'm preaching this Sunday on the Good Shepherd, on Psalm 23. And I love this out of John 10 and 27. That my sheep hear my voice. I know them, and they follow me. Are you following the Lordship of the King Jesus? Hallelujah. Are you following Him? Are you following Him? Amen. And that what I love about this is we hear His voice, right? But can we decree? Can we say, the Lord has given me the tongue of disciples? See, but it goes back. How do we, if He's given me a tongue. He's given me the Word. One way He gives us the Word is through His Word. One way He speaks prophetically of that rhema, that breath of fresh Word through us is through the written Word. Amen. So if you're listening to this, grab the Bible, go into Isaiah 50. And just read Isaiah 50. Amen. The Lord took me there a number of years ago over a season in my life. And the Lord will use different passages of His eternal Word in your season. Amen. Scripture is the main, one of the main instruments that our Father uses to speak to us. That's why studying the Bible is so important. When we spend time in God's Word, we'll develop that discerning spirit. But here's the thing. Here's the key. Unless we make listening to him a priority, it doesn't matter how loud he speaks. We must ask the Lord to teach us to hear. Then practice having a quiet attitude, which is where I talk about active listening. Amen? 
an internal intention to be tuned into the Father through prayer, meditation, meditate on His Word, and practice at listening. And we need a spirit of submission to obey His commands. See, the Father's goal for us is a lifestyle, lifestyle, a full, just a way of living, of sensitivity, so we can hear Him in both noisy and calm situations. Listening is a crucial skill set. Something we must develop. Spend time reading, meditating on Scripture. There's so many blessings, including that we readily recognize our Father's voice. So when that, when your friend, your family member, your brother or sister in Christ or a stranger comes to you, that you will have the tongue of a disciple, that you'll sustain that weary one with simply a word of the Lord. There's a word in you. He awakens you. He awakens your ear. He's opened up your ear. Be obedient. Can I get an amen? Amen. I preach to myself. I preach myself happy this morning. So, guys, I want you to do something. Go over to PastorWayneSutton.com if you haven't. PastorWayneSutton.com. Put in your name, email, and uh, phone number. Receive our text and email updates. There's so many resources there, as well as our new course coming out, our, our new updated version of Guided by God. Also, if you need counsel, ministry, you need somebody to speak into your life. Maybe you feel stuck. Maybe you're trying to discern your next step in life, your direction. I have counseled and coached so many people, political leaders, people uh, in the in the entertainment industry, other ministers and pastors. I'm here to help you. I always say from, from the homeless to the the ones with the million dollar homes, we all need help. We're all in the same passage of life, learning and growing and being led by God. So go to thesecondadam.com. On the main page, you can just scroll down, sign up for life coaching. I look forward to hearing from you. I believe in you. And will you pray for us? Will you pray for us here at the ministry that God's will be done in our ministry? I believe in you because I believe in the Jesus Christ within you. God bless. Thanks for joining us for Straight Talk with Wayne. Do you need prayer, counseling, or personal prophetic ministry? Then go to thesecondadam.com for more information. Be sure to sign up at yourprophecynews.com for the latest updates, free resources, and prophetic news. God bless.